in Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, the pattern remains unsettled, uh, relatively unpredictable over the next several days, uh, eventually getting milder into the weekend, coming to a crescendo with high rain chances on Sunday, followed by a shot of winter for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Temperatures getting back to where they might be sometime in January after a pretty strong cold front and maybe even a light freeze in our future as well. But in the near term, plenty of showers. Plenty of clouds out there as well. And Justin Tarot getting this weather shot from Mamu Hotel Kazan. I didn't even know there was a hotel in, in Mamu. So you learn something new every day, and I'm sure this is a landmark in town. And I like the brickwork as well. I always like to look at uh, uh, some of the handiwork uh, going back over the years. Cloudy skies, overcast skies in the background, and showers out there as well. So let's kick it upstairs. Look at the big picture, and it hasn't changed. You got snow in the northeast, showers in the south, more big rains in the west, and more big snows at elevation Sierra Nevada through the Intermountain West uh, through the Northern Rockies. And for us, we're mired in that subtropical jet stream, perhaps uh, a little El Nino enhanced El Nino coming on over the last several weeks. And hopefully that sticks around through the summer. That may cut down on the number of tropical systems, but it doesn't mean we're not going to have any activity in the Gulf of Mexico. El Nino has relatively no effects on uh, tropical systems in the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, almost tropical showers across the area today with milder temperatures uh, widely scattered to Scattered showers, not much thunderstorm activity, mind you. Maybe a rumble of thunder near the coast. We have showers moving generally from the west southwest to the east northeast uh, following the wake of that warm front. Pretty nice little shower that moved through uh, KTC and then uh, north side of town now moving out into uh, northern portions of uh, upper St. Martin Parish right around the Cecilia area and a few other showers around about into Acadia Parish and then up toward Evangeline Parish as well. So uh, we have the showers out out there, but the model suggesting things are going to quiet down as the night wears on, but still uh, predictive rate. Our latest run keeping some showers and maybe some storms up until about 10 o'clock tonight. And I think it settles down. We have some fog moving in overnight and then you can almost see a frontal boundary. If you watch uh, the uh, wind barbs here uh, approaching us as we get into tomorrow, and that's going to lead to on and off showers once again, maybe a rumble of thunder as well. Here's that warm front. We started out upper 50s to lower 60s. Then that front working its way to the north, but now it's going to turn over and become a nearly or what we call a quasi stationary frontal boundary. If it was stationary, it wouldn't move anywhere. So we say quasi stationary it means it's going to waffle around and this is the forecasters nightmare. It's hard to predict, but we do think fog and mild temperatures south of the front, north of the front. It's going to be cool and I think we're going to see more in the way of showers and storms along this frontal boundary during the day tomorrow. The model really not picking up on that, but with the El Nino pattern, the Subtropical jet stream overhead got a bet on some showers at 40 to 50% through tomorrow evening. Then we go into Friday, maybe more fog, especially near the coast, but that front works its way back to the north as a warm front, and we'll see mostly cloudy skies and back to temperatures in the mid 70s. Tomorrow, we're going to see a range upper 60s to lower 70s with that front in our immediate vicinity. Here's the European model as we go ahead into Saturday. Some scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm. I think daytime hours Saturday. I think things quiet down as we head into Saturday evening, then going into Sunday warm initially. But a strong front will be pushing on through. Notice the temperatures here, mid 70s. I don't think we're going to see severe weather with this front. There's some, going to be some dynamics with this for sure. But mostly, I think on the backside, the cold air may outrun any storm dynamics. But showers and storms Sunday, and then temperatures plummeting into the mid to upper 30s Monday morning. I think the clouds stick around. It's going to be a cloudy, cold day. Temperatures holding in the 40s, and with a north wind at 15, that means wind chills will be in the 30s and maybe as low as the upper 20s in the morning and then back into the 20s at night. Now notice we're showing a little precip here on uh, Monday uh, night. A little bit of a disturbance riding in the upper parts of the jet stream will be pushing on through. So maybe light rain, but I wouldn't be surprised if we'd see a little sleep pellets, although the model not showing us that. But windy and cold. We get into Mardi Gras morning, 36 with a wind chill in the mid to upper 20s. And then Mardi Gras afternoon, mid to upper 40s to near 50. But at least we'll see mostly sunny skies going into 
Wednesday, coldest temperatures that morning will start out near freezing and top out near 50 for Wednesday afternoon. Near term issue will be the fog, so fog moving inland tonight might see a dense fog advisory, perhaps as far north as the I-10 quarter, and then that fog lifts after early tomorrow morning. Temperatures holding in the 60s tomorrow, upper 60s to lower 70s north of the front cooler, south of the front will be milder. Then we go tomorrow night, a little bit cooler tomorrow night, upper 50s to lower 60s, maybe still a little chance of fog, but probably not. And then as we head into Friday, we'll see temperatures getting back into the middle 70s. So milder overnight tonight will hold in the 60s tonight with scattered showers, perhaps a thunderstorm, primarily evening hours and fog later on tonight. Then tomorrow, still the risk of on and off showers and a few storms. Temperatures in the lower 70s. Southwesterly wind shifting out of the north briefly, but they'll be back out of the south for Friday. A little bit of a break on the rain chances Friday. Saturday right now will go with a soft 40%. Temperatures in the upper 70s. Rain will be likely and some embedded storms Sunday, followed by that winter chill that returns. Our temperatures to mostly 40s for highs and overnight lows in the 30s. And come next uh, Wednesday morning, Ash Wednesday morning, we could see a freeze. So keep that in mind. Mind, planters, mm -hmm. gardeners, and lawn workers, and everybody else that works out there. All right, thanks, Rob.